Before we talk about anything else, mom and dad have said a lot about you. You've heard what they have said. They're really proud about what all of you have done. How does it make you guys feel? Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are always happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about you, Mercy? I'll say it's always a good thing when mm -hmm. your parent has something nice to say about you. Mm -hmm. So if, yeah. Um, listening, coming from them, they're proud of us, and mm -hmm. they're so happy. And how far, mm -hmm. um, how we have grown, mm -hmm. it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yes. And now, um, we've always to Kiskia Wanyama family. We know Victor. We know, we know Mariga, but not many people talk about Masi, Cynthia. You know. Yet, Muko, you're really doing something on the ground. How has that been? Over the years, and see at him na complain. At his asam na try kuji show. Hey, you people look at us. We are also doing something. You don't do that. How? You know, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. There's always time for everything. Mm -hmm. There's always time for everything. Um, then was their time. Mm -hmm. Now it's ours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all grow as sports people. You know, our personal lives, our sports. Um, in terms of sports and all that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we all believe, we all support each other, but we all believe at the end of, at the, end of the day, we all grow as human beings. So at that time, it was their time. Mm -hmm. So since it was their time, we had to let them shine. Oh, it yes. was their time. So now it's ours, they understand. <laughs> and now they, they have let us shine too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was, it was their moment, now it's our moment. So we felt, we all were always proud of each other mm -hmm. and it's normal, like I feel like it was okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Though I've been, I've been, if you look at, if you check at the interview, I've been here and there uh -huh. once in a while. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's not like, um, we always behind the scenes somehow. But you people rarely do interviews. We rarely see you on the media. Sita, is that why not many people would have the conversation going on about you, you ladies? You know, many people know us. We don't talk too much, you mm -hmm. know. Then we are scared of camera sometimes. Really? So, yeah. <laughs> she speaks for herself. Me, I'm not scared. Probably people have never asked me. I'm me always scared. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, even if I'm a captain in our team, they, mm -hmm. they can tell me you are the one who is going to mm -hmm. to talk then I'm like no I'm not feeling well uh -huh. <laughs> because I'm scared yeah I can't <laughs> talk where so many people are but in sports for example when you are outside the country playing mm -hmm. representing Kenya there I can talk you know oh, yeah. I can talk because there are different people they can't judge you but me mm -hmm. I'm scared of being judged but yeah I don't care, I do. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> That's why sometimes me on get two, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. But your English is good, so, so the Canadians do rush, the interviews are messed up, but they're still confident to the English in the coming and the going. <laughs> <laughs> so most of the people when people come here and cover a story, mm -hmm. I normally run away mm -hmm. or I tell them me I'll just talk one or two words, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Cynthia, you too. you've pursued netball professionally mom complained about your boxing life of course <laughs> and that thing always make me sad because i'm seeing size mm -hmm. boxing at least in and afar yeah my dame, you oh, know yes. like netball netball people wait when it, there is something wrong like people went in south africa they were oh. given small money mm -hmm. so they are cooking ugali for themselves it can end up viral that is when the netball can be hard yes you see, but when it is here, no. Nobody cares. Yeah. So when I was young, I used to play football mm -hmm. with my sister. My sister was um, goalkeeper. I mm -hmm. was a midfielder. No, let me let me clarify that. <laughs> I was not a goalkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> I was a goalkeeper. <laughs> was injured. Mm -hmm. So of course, they're like Mercy. I think you can be. You, you step know, you're a utility player. <laughs> do that so me as a person you know i said i got you i got my team let me just i'll take care of that and you did then, yeah and that's where i got injured but i was never a goalkeeper i was a defender, a defender. then, then meaning I, you did the goalkeeping better than yeah, the defender. Better, of so course. Yeah, like that's where 
Sometimes, <laughs> but I was a defender, so <laughs> we just yeah, we were playing football. We loved football. Mm -hmm. We were going in some counties representing our club. Mm -hmm. So after there, I went for boxing. Mm -hmm. I was very good mm -hmm. in boxing because I, I was defending my sisters and the bigger <laughs> one. Even. From so, who? From the boys? They were bullying yeah, you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I was nini boxing sana, but I was to shule hivi. Boxing, it was there in Mudurwa and it is still there. And it's still there, yeah. yes. So, nilikuwa naenda training, mm -hmm. but nimi acha viyombo, maji meja kwa sink. Mm -hmm. So, my mom, ha, alikuwa tough. Uh -huh. So, nilikuwa na mwona tuwa meingia, hey, and I was, ha, nilikuwa na kimbia. <laughs> Kitu ya kwanza nikushika tu viyombo, mm -hmm. kwanza kuosha, ndu at least asinichape. <laughs> but I used to play boxing, mm -hmm. nilipenda. Then I started netball. Nilikuwa naenda na mamu, mm -hmm. mamu wakienda competition, mm -hmm. I, I was always with her. Mm -hmm. Na mbebea bag naona, venyu anacheza. So when I was in Form 4, nikaitua national team. Mm -hmm. yeah. So did you uh, pursue netball seriously because mom, mom inspired you or is it because you loved it? I think I loved it netball, na ilikuwa kwa blood to say me. Mm -hmm. Boxing, no one was in boxing na wa home. Ni in football, yeah, there boys mm -hmm. so that boy will go to quadam mm -hmm. yes so and mercy your basketball career you've played for storms you've won titles for equity home hawks um you have made a lot of debuts you're the first kenyan to play in spain how's that journey been um i say um it wasn't easy mm -hmm. at all um you know if um you need to succeed there's some challenges of course they're always going to yes. be there so it's something that, um, yeah, there's some challenges, but I'm so happy how I've grown and how far, you know, I've, I've really I've worked for me to be where I have been or where I am right now. I've really worked hard, um, so, and I'm still working to get better each and every day. So I'll say it's a process, but I thank God how far I've gone and mm -hmm. how far I'm still, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the Wanyama name, it's associated with success, a lot of stuff. Does that name, you bearing that name, give you pressure at all? Whenever you're in the court, like now I have to, to do better, you know. Does the name give you any pressure? Of wow. course, yes. Uh -huh. The pressure is there mm -hmm. and it is still there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when you play good, they'll say, yeah, that is sister to Wanyama. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you see the name is... <laughs> Yeah, of course, mm -hmm. we're at Patia Pressure, so we mm -hmm. have to do it better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And both of you are moms. How mm -hmm. has that journey been? Balancing, you know, your, 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 your career and motherhood? Because honestly, Bados is a figure your level, but at times I even have an issue <laughs> handling one thing. But both of you are excelling in all, all areas. You know, mm -hmm. how, how do you balance? For me, I don't see anything hard with mm -hmm. balancing sports with baby. Mm -hmm. See, it's so easy mm -hmm. because the baby, like me, baby and I'm seven. Mm -hmm. I'm seven and prepare and I'm going mm -hmm. to After there, we train with my sister every day mm -hmm. from nine to 11, then mm -hmm. in the evening from five to six. Mm -hmm. So you see, ata sumbua, kotu sa tu mezoya imagine. Yeah. For me, for me, I'll say, by it, it's been a journey because, let me say first, pressure starts from here, in this house. Mm -hmm. That's from here, you know, when you start training, must you need to do this, must you oh, do yeah. this when you're not doing well. Like, we, we, we help each other, we push each other from mm -hmm. the boys to girls, yeah. we push each other, like, you know, um, must you need to shoot more, must you need to, you know, mm -hmm. um, work, you need to be in the gym probably twice a week or mm -hmm. twice a week. So we push each other to get better. Mm -hmm. So if you see the Wanyamas are doing well, mm -hmm. just know there's something behind the scenes. You've been working extra it's hard. Teamwork. Yeah, it's been, there's, some, there's mm -hmm. a lot of challenges. We have really, really pushed ourselves. Mm -hmm. We have, you know, sacrificed a mm -hmm. lot of things to be where we are. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of work and mm -hmm. it's a commitment, you know, a sacrifice, all that. Um, again, about the kid, um, Mine, okay, it's just a timing. Like, you know, mm -hmm. you work with time. You know, wake up in the morning, make sure your kid, you know, shower, goes to school. Then when you come back, you work on yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's something that you just need to learn how to balance mm -hmm. both 
you know the kid and your um, our work mm -hmm. but you know our kids always come first no matter what mm -hmm. so yeah. our kids my kids our kids we, they always come first like our family family is very important oh, yes. to us yes mm -hmm. so it always comes first Mom. so before we work on ourselves mm -hmm. we make sure they're all okay mm -hmm. they're going to school then when we come back then we start working out Mom cracked a joke when do you ganga the <laughs> so I'm still wondering how you balance. <laughs> you know, it's, she's like, it's true. Mm -hmm. I take a lot of time. You know, when I'm taking shower, I take my time. Mm -hmm. She's right. Yeah, she keeps on telling me that. But you know, before mm -hmm. when I wake up, the first thing is I take care of my son. Uh -huh. I make sure she's in school. He's he's in school. Sorry. Oh, yes, I take care of him. him yeah. Studying. I yeah. take care of him. I make mm -hmm. sure I make sure he's in school. Mm -hmm. Um. Then after him, then is when I take my time in mm -hmm. the bathroom and all the other places. But before <laughs> I start working on myself, mm -hmm. I first take care of my son. Uh -huh. Yes. So you had something you wanted to say. You know, I wanted to say about the. <laughs> Here in our house, sometimes you see, mm -hmm. if you don't train, na kwambia kicho itakuuma. Boys, they'll keep abusing you. Oh, now when you men on, you don't train. Look at your stomach. Mm -hmm. They they give you pressure to mm -hmm. train. They don't mm -hmm. want to just be there. Yeah. You are fat. You see, mm -hmm. they just want to be informed. Be healthy, Any, do yeah, something. yeah, of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to do something, yeah. And we fit, can see, mom, fit life, you know, mom. Is not uh, she's not feeling too well, but still she's, she's doing, moving around. She's doing, so you people have no reason to be lazy. <laughs> yes. Of course, but we are not saying being fat is bad. No. We are not saying we are not yeah, saying being, <laughs> you know people who are big or fat no, no, and sad. No, no. no, we're just saying it's good to keep fit. Oh, like, yes. yeah, it's just for healthy purposes. So, and you're yeah. a sporting family. Exactly. Yeah. So what will you be doing? Health lazing purpose, around, mm -hmm. you know. Yes. Mm -hmm. so. And I'm sure both of you have talked to mom about how sports sports was during her time and you're both experiencing different stuff you know so how um how how has that discussion been during her time and your time right now suddenly like it's almost the same mm -hmm. like a lot of things this it's still like you know we're still uh, struggling mm -hmm. it's not like a lot of things have changed oh, yeah. small, you know, a bit of it has changed mm -hmm. but like I won't say it's hundred mm percent -hmm. so um, we're still struggling mm -hmm. in terms of sport but um, I think we're still growing but we're taking step you know one step at a time mm -hmm. so I would say that we are now at that time this was this and now we have read now no, we are no. still struggling mm -hmm. and you know there's some things that they face that we are still facing mm -hmm. yeah but um you know, like I said, thing one step at a time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like now, the more worst thing is this Corona COVID. You see, yes. now it it, now it is going two years without netball. Mm -hmm. You see, you just need to train by your own. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. Because you can't go in a group. You cannot. Yeah. And what is it? Uh, if you had the power to be in an ad administrative position, what is it that you would change about? Uh, Women, women's sports in Kenya or globally, because you not only play here, you know, you interact with global athletes out there. Mm -hmm. For me, I'll give each and every one a chance to mm -hmm. participate. You know, there. Are, you see, there is what can I call it? Is it frustration or what? Mm -hmm. You see, there are those, there are many talents mm -hmm. outside there, and you see. Some of the coaches, they can choose their best mm -hmm. or because he loves you. Mm -hmm. They don't choose talent. So if I'm there in any of our uh, organization, mm -hmm. I'll just support this, this young, mm -hmm. young, young mm -hmm. Kamazuya. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Yes. You give each and every one the opportunity. An yeah. equal opportunity. Yeah, equal opportunity. Yeah. And then how things are being run mm -hmm. in, in sports. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, for me, I'll change everything. How it's being run, yeah, and give everyone opportunity to be yeah, able to participate, you know, to participate mm -hmm. and showcase their talent. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you've really talked about how your brothers have been of positive impact to your lives. How they push you, push you to, to you know, get to the highest level that you can get. How has their careers? Mariga, Victor, you know, inspired you in your respective areas of excellence. You know, as for me, let me start with Mariga. You know, uh, there was a time, it was just juicy. 
I just found out my brother was in a museum in FIFA, FIFA World. World Museum. And I was shocked. I was like, now, this is another okay. pressure. How, <laughs> how, how will I even be able to get there? Like, mm -hmm. what is it that you want us to do? Like, you've already... <laughs> Like, I'm a Malisa, like you know, you just uh -huh. said, I just told him, oh, I'm a Malisa now, no, so, so, what do you want us to do? Because now that's another pressure, because we keep on pushing each other uh -huh. to get better every day. Uh -huh. That was a, it's a big thing, mm -hmm. you know, having a brother, two brothers who are playing Champions League, oh, that's yes. a big thing for me. Mm -hmm. Having one of them who has won, mm -hmm. like, you know, that's a big thing. Oh, yes. He's in a FIFA Museum World Cup, that's mm -hmm. another great thing oh, yes. that I feel like, wow, you know, Somebody was showing, you know, she, she was, um, I think she was in the museum. Uh -huh. So, you know, I saw the uh, Arambe with Maridia's name, oh. you know, the jersey, and the Kenya flag. Uh -huh. You know, the Kenyan flag, you can just imagine, like, there's a Kenyan who represented us. Mm -hmm. You see, that's a very big thing. And so it will go down say, in history. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, um, to them, they've really, I've seen them working. Mm -hmm. I've seen the sacrifice, you know, what the, there's a lot of things that, you know, they've, done a lot to be where they are mm -hmm. and they deserve, oh, yes. deserve they deserve to be where they are and mm -hmm. i'm so super proud of them mm -hmm. where they are as much as it's a pressure for some of us that now we are trying to oh, get yeah. there and all that <laughs> and how they have maintained the wanyama's yeah. name mm -hmm. from mom and to dad man. until now we are being respected out there oh, yes. mm -hmm. if you go and found that we have something bad mm -hmm. for wanyama like these things which people are doing outside mm -hmm. no we have a clean name Mm -hmm. And we are very proud of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and us, as we are going, we want to maintain it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And I would say then. that uh, we are doing for Wanyama's family only because we are all Kenyans oh, at yes. the end of the day. So mm -hmm. I'm representing somebody there. Mm -hmm. I'm representing some, another Nancy there, another Kenyan is there. You know, mm -hmm. if it, you know, every time it appears, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that, you know, even if it's Wanyama's, it will start by a Kenyan, you know, mm -hmm. a Kenyan oh, yes. blah, blah, blah. It's always a Kenyan blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. So at the end of the day, Kenya, we're on the map. We'll always be yes, on the map. Yes, we'll always be on the map. So mm -hmm. I'll say that I'm, I'm proud of them mm -hmm. as a Kenyan, as their sister also, as mm -hmm. a, yeah, all that. And mom and dad really talked about settling down, uh -huh. you know. So <laughs> growing up, uh, she has boys, girls. How was your relationship? growing with mom were you open telling her about boys mom i have a boyfriend or it was just now i have a new friend am i you just leave her to guess you know how is your relationship with your mom you know back then <laughs> you know we came from tough background mm -hmm. i'll say that it was really tough very tough and back being then, beaten when yeah. they see you with any man. Yeah, you're in school, <laughs> you know, being in school, sometimes you're out of school because you don't have school fees, you know, oh, yeah. spending days without eating, mm -hmm. you know, you don't, you lack food, you like this and that. So, you know, some of us, we have, we are here, you know, we'll we be able to complete our education because of sports. Mm -hmm. So, um, you don't even focus on boys anymore. Like, you oh, just yes. focus on yourself because in the morning you're training, books are there, go back home, mm -hmm. clean the house, Watch the, uh, sure you know, the okay. houses are there. My mom still waits for you and see, oh, mm, <laughs> what have you been doing? Those? So now, again, mm. you're, you're thinking like, where do I, I don't, you know, time for now thinking about blah, blah, blah. How is it, you know, mm. me personally, I never got that time. But mm -hmm. when I, you know, I was done with my high school thing, mm -hmm. then when I joined, I started University. playing, like, yeah, and then uh -huh. I started to play um, professional Pro. basketball, mm -hmm. yeah. That's when now, you know, it's that like, okay, we, you know, people will approach <laughs> you and things will be going on. For ourselves. But my, but my mom was tough. My mom would come, you know, she, she used, she, you know, she, my mom is a very hardworking woman. Mm -hmm. So she'll come from, you know, um, from work. Mm -hmm. She wants everything clean. The house is clean. Dishes is clean. The clothes, mm -hmm. you know, food is cooked. So even if you're going for training, you just know that you need to come back home and make sure that by the time she comes from work, Everything is settled, everything is clean, things are done the way they're supposed to. No so, wonder all of you are yeah. disciplined. So you're wondering, <laughs> you can imagine coming home, mm -hmm. if she found a, a dirty uh, plate or they think it's a problem. Chapo. So imagine sitting with a guy, now having a conversation, a the house is dirty <laughs> and your chapo. mom is... She was, yeah, <laughs> I know she would, I'm telling you. Like, like we used to play basketball with Mercy Storms. Yeah. So tulikuwa tunaachiliwa nine. Hiyo nine utakimbia, moja kwa naoga, wewe unakata mboga, you see? Why it was tough. So hiyo so yeah. time at ya mflana mnaka mnaongea no. So your yeah. topic ilikuwa off limits uh, uh, off. No, it was Kabisa. off limits. Like it's not like we didn't want to talk about it. But, but that time <laughs> there's no room. There's a lot of yeah, because there's a lot of things to be done. Mm -hmm. Actually you have not eaten. 
this guy doesn't even know if mm -hmm. how was how your morning was how your yeah. night was so the least i can do is go to school mm -hmm. train do this do that by the time you're done you're so tired that you don't even time to think about this, this guy that i'm in class that i always you know like yeah. this guy in class that i <laughs> no personally <laughs> so to her probably maybe she had some at that time but me i was just focusing on my stuff like <laughs> mm. <laughs> I will get there. I will and was that. it will get just there. mom and dad or also your brother? You are very protective. No, my dad was so protective. My dad was, eh, anyone would be like, anyone who wants to marry the Wanyamas, yeah. there's a lion there. <laughs> be ready. The Wanyama is <laughs> there. A real Wanyama. You have not met him. <laughs> my dad is like, like that. that. Yeah. My, yeah. my dad is like yeah. that. My dad is like my dad. They start murmuring. Eh, our fichi. Una pandaga tu juu kisemacha wa wonge apa. Yeah, but my brother is that, that, that's super nice. I have a I have a brother who will tell me how it is. Uh, they tell me how it is because me I'll go and you know have a con a conversation with my brother. Like, yo, this this guy. Do you think it's normal for a guy to do this to me? You know, I love a one on one conversation with them, and you know. They Tell me how they, you know, how they feel, their opinion, yeah, their opinion. And the man said, don't think this is right, I'm a man. So coming from a man, telling you, I think it should be like this, you know, it's, yes. So I have, they're so supportive and me, I normally just go to them. If there's something that bothers me and I feel like I need their opinion from a guy to tell me how it is. You know, I can, I, the way I look at it as a lady and the it's way they different. look at it, yeah, as a man, mm -hmm. they'll be like, mm, I think you are wrong or no. He has a problem. Run. You Run. See? Yes. So um, they're, so, they're not like protective like that because now we are grown women. Oh, yeah. They're not like protective like that. Mm -hmm. But they are always open. Like if there's something that you want us to talk about. Feel free. Yeah. And me, I'm so I'll free with you. them. Yes. Mm -hmm. I just sit them down with them and have this conversation. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I think they look at me like, are you okay? Because you know, <laughs> this is a conversation that some women won't have with their brothers. Oh, yeah, like, definitely. are you? I'm like me, I'm just, I'll drop uh, the bomb, I'll drop it here. I'd rather <laughs> take it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they're not that protective, but they're so, um, they're open-minded. Like, you know, anything you bring on the table, we just discuss with no judgment. We see how we're going to do this and handle the situation. Mm -hmm. yes. Marcy, um, the things your parents say about you, what is it in particular that your parents have ever said about you that made you feel proud that these two, this particular two, I'm happy to have them as my parents? Mama, I have to say that I am very proud of anything you say. I am always 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 proud of many things that she has talked. We are proud of what she just said. For me, I will say, you know, when she tells me, don't forget where you came from. That makes me, as a person, I always like, oh, you know, don't forget where you came from. Yes, that is not that because today you can drive a big car, you forget where you came from. Yes, that means you don't look down on any other person. Do not look down on people. Treat people equally. You know, be nice always. Yes, don't judge anyone. You know, so when he gives me that word all the time, it reminds me of you know this is how I should be. You know, yes, this is how things should be done all the time. Yes. And how have you ladies? May, uh, manage to stay humble because honestly, you're driving amazing cars. Ah, you're not a kadudu kadogo, you're a kadudu, you're a club, everyone will know. You know, but you're all stable, but still, not only you, but your entire family, mm -hmm. but you all manage to stay humble. Mm -hmm. How do you do it? Is it uh, something that you do every day? Yes, every day. Mm -hmm. Every day. Mm -hmm. Every day. It's God, but I'll say again, we, we, have, we know where we came from. Yeah. We know where we came from. Don't forget, yes, remember where you came from. That word, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, as much it's as we are growing, strong. yes, we know where we came from. Yeah. So we don't really want to go back there. Yeah. And again, yes, we understand, um, you know, where, at that moment or at that time where we were, it was so difficult. So um, we know how it's like, we know the other side of life. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's not a happy yes, it's not a happy place. Mm -hmm. So um, you don't want anyone to go through what we've gone through. Mm -hmm. We we'll not want to wish any other person to, mm -hmm. you know, be in that situation. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? Stay humble. Stay humble. Be nice. Yeah. 
God exalts exactly. you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get blessings for free mm -hmm. just because you've been nice and humble. Oh, yes. It doesn't. It doesn't cost much. It doesn't cost by yeah, the way. It doesn't cost anything actually. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't cost anything. It's a coin snake. Yeah. Yeah. For you. For me. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm, we are just humble because where we have come from, mm -hmm. it's far. To me, piti a mingi ambapo atasai. If someone come and to Namjua, you can't carry anyone to your car. Oh, so yeah. ato you can stand, you can stand and say hi, give something. You see, mm -hmm. just because we are like anyone else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sisi atunange yo comparison. Ato kipata mtu chokora apo like. You see, me in Danga town, na kutana na those chokora, who we know we stayed with them long time there in Mudura, apo karibu na country bus, and I'm like with my friends, like four of them. So you can just come and hug me, and they're scared. I can tell, why are you scared? I know this person. It's not bad. Yeah. So to napiga story wana stuka. So if I have two hundred or five hundred, I can tell you and tell you. Please, snunu e gam or. You just go and take food, you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you just have to be humble. Don't forget where you have come from, your friends. See at Unawapita, Ukiwaona. Yeah, you just bond the same way. Venye mkwa mna bond kitam. Yeah, that's it, yeah. And, okay, I know, I'm the, I'm the, you have not, nothing negative. I don't think he's out there on social media <laughs> about you, but maybe someone has said one or two things out there. How do you handle, you know, verbal stuff that has said maybe about you or your family or friends out there? How do you handle it? There's a, there's a lot of negative things said about us. Mm -hmm. Probably people, there's a lot. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as I said, um, as we compete against each other in this house, mm -hmm. yes? I'll compete with Victor, and she is a footballer, I'm a basketballer. Mm -hmm. But I, as a man, I'm a lady, but I try to compete with him to get better all the time. Um, you know, people say a lot of things. People want to compare my brothers with some other with people, her, yeah. Matthew with another people. Mm -hmm. They don't understand we all have different opportunities. We work in a different way, yeah, environment, all that. Um, so, you know, when people say some crazy stuff about us, we don't even pay attention mm -hmm. because we know where we came from. Like, you want to say something bad about me, you don't even know how hard I fought to be where I am, mm -hmm. yet you want to compare me with another person, yet you want mm -hmm. to say something about me, mm -hmm. and you don't understand, you know, where I came from, the sacrifices mm -hmm. I've done to be where I am. Mm -hmm. You see, now we just tell each other, let's enjoy ourselves, let's be happy. Mm -hmm. You know, we have paid our price, we know how far we have came, we know, you know, our work ethic. Mm -hmm. So let's keep on moving. If somebody has to say something about us, it's fine, that's his opinion. We respect him for that, but as we know where we're going, we know where mm -hmm. we came from. You know, we know what makes us comfortable mm -hmm. as a family. As you know, we support each other as sister and brothers. Mm -hmm. So you know, we give them. It's their opinion. We respect them for that. You know, yeah. Somebody's opinion is somebody's opinion. We can't change that. We can't control what is being said to you know about us with other people out there. Yes, but the way we behave, the way we act, you know, um, we just move on. We just we don't really pay attention about the whole the, you know negativity and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Instead I'd rather come to Cynthia, we train, we laugh, we you know <laughs> like, take some there coffee. Is, <laughs> there have is coffee. This lady this lady <laughs> who Uchafua Victor's name. Uh -huh. So we are like pressuring Victor. You have to do this so that he can clear your name. What is <laughs> eh? we were quarrel Victor. We call every each and I'm a same we want his, our name to be protected, you know. Ju vitu wanasema ni za ujinka. Hata ziko. So, tuko tuko ameza. Eski ya kikuja, eski. Victor amekupigia, amekomunikate. Huyo mdem kwa ni iko nini. So, tunacheka, tunafight. So, we just want to, yeah. We want just to protect our name, you see. Father and mother wali protect. Sasa sisi ni wakina nani tukuje tuaribu. Ama Victor ulifanya, unatudanganya. Kwa nini utaki kwa isi? Things like that. Things like that. We just sit down here. Because you being a role model to so many kids, some things, yeah. Some things people should just watch what their mouth. You know, whatever you say, whatever comes out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. I keep on saying, if you don't have anything nice to say, zip it. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's just say hi to me. Let's go have some coffee. Mm -hmm. 
if it, you know, say if if there's no if, if you're not gonna tell me something that's gonna make me grow as a person mm -hmm. or help me in one way or another, then zip it. Yes, let's just <laughs> let's go have some coffee, have a drink. <laughs> so you would say um, all of you being a neat family is what has brought you this far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you know, a family that is scattered. Yes. But togetherness, unity, kwa mm -hmm. Yes, that's There's a teamwork here. Yeah. <laughs> There's a teamwork. And you're both mothers. Mom and dad really want continuity because they're so proud how all of you have made them comfortable. Uh, dad has even mentioned things he now owns which he didn't own and didn't think of owning, you know. Mm. And they've actually blessed your children, you know. Yeah. Have you seen signs of any uh, football activity <laughs> or netball, basketball in your kids that now you you know, mm hmm, it will continue? Yeah, yeah. Mine, yes. even we have some photos. That are we young Mine. and six yeah. months. Yeah. Hey! Mine is. Ata and zakuchezo kimshika. I really, ana igonga yompira kabisa. Yeah. So we see the future in them. Watakuwa uh -huh. footballers. Uh -huh. Mine is already. <laughs> Mine is already like it's already. I said okay, but you know, it's it just me. But I'm not doing basketball. I'm like, yeah, I was a footballer, so I understand you. Do your thing. Let, yeah. let me just, you know, let me hand off my new. Just, it's fine. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, you know, I do my best to support him and, you know, give mm -hmm. him all my support and be there for him. Though sometimes, you know, when I'm away, it's difficult. Oh, yeah, it's not yeah, easy. It's totally difficult for me being away from him all those months. And I get, you know, I'm happy to have a family that takes care of that, also oh, yes. takes care of him. Um, but it's always difficult for me as a mother. No, but yeah, no. once I'm here, I try to, you know, nice. give him time. Yeah, just mm -hmm. have time with him. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, you know, support him. In, you know, support him all the way, 100%. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Cynthia, mom um, cut you short on boxing. Mm. Your son today is um, a sport that you don't want. Will you do the same? Sit am Kataza. Maybe I could have been far right now, you see? Yeah. You just let them to choose what they want in life. You choose him, Toto, Kenya, and Ataka. You never know. Yeah. So, sit up, Kataza. Boxing, football, basketball, volleyball. So, you can buy any. You will support. Yeah, support fully. Yeah. And when sports now resume, netball totally off. Uh, what do you intend to achieve? Or are you going back? Or if you go back, what do you intend to achieve? Netball. Mm. Mm. Maybe when we go back, I'll go for fun. I'm at a Nikito national team. Mm -hmm. I just play for fun. But right now, mm -hmm. I'm the CEO of the Vitawanyama Foundation. Yeah. We saw the bus, it's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So we are helping actually last year mm -hmm. to Chukua nine students uh -huh. who are joining from one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who have performed from three eighty and above. We gave nine of them scholarship up to university. Mm -hmm. And this round again we are taking nine of them mm -hmm. who have performed well. Fully sponsored. Yeah, fully sponsored. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And they are in good schools. Mm -hmm. I've been receiving their report from their performing well, and I'm so proud. Tunajua uko akifika from four ata inua jina ya Victoria Nyama Foundation ju akipafun vizuri. Yeah, and the best thing you can give someone is education. Yeah, because that's an amazing empowerment. Come on, a talent, my friend. <laughs> and even those who have talents, yeah. you know, you're still doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. after netball, that is what I'll be doing at least. Kusaidia watu. In the community. Yeah, yeah, the giving community, back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we know where we are come from. Pia sisi tunataka iyo kidogo pia au wafraie, mm -hmm. which they will make them happy. See? Mm -hmm. Atu kisaidia mtu na kanyumba, 
kadogo zenye tumekuwa tukitengeleza huko mm-hmm. if you make his face or her face happy oh, yes. that's the good thing and yeah blessing. yeah from god mm-hmm. yeah how about you masi you soon resuming training mm-hmm. are you ready yeah 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 I'm, i always stay ready like i said me <laughs> um, i always stay ready because <laughs> I, anything can happen. I'm always so I'm always like stay ready all the time. Uh-huh. Yes. So yeah, we have um national team duties. Uh-huh. Um I'm looking forward to work with, you know, the other players. Mhm. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, so yes, I'm ready. How long has it been since you were with your teams? National team? Yes. Um last last year uh-huh. we played um we did um we had the national team duties. Yeah, we went to Senegal. So yeah, we were together. Mm-hmm. Um it was some I think not last year like probably two years ago, I guess if I'm not wrong. Mm-hmm. It was not last year, two years ago. <laughs> But now yeah, meeting them again it's 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 um you know, it's great. I'm mm-hmm. happy. I'm excited to work with them again. Mm-hmm. Yes, probably it's just that, you know, my the way where I work, you know, things have changed oh, a yeah. bit, you know, it's a bit Maybe, you know every coach has their own tactics. Oh yes. Yeah, so I'll, hopefully I'll blend in. <laughs> And we work together. And we work together. Yes. And uh, as the basket na- the, the women's national basketball team, you saw what the men's national basketball team did in was it um, in Rwanda? No, no, no. Mm-hmm. Was it Cameroon? Yo, yeah, no, it was yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cameroon, yeah, in Cameroon. Yeah, yes, yes, it was in Cameroon. They qualified for the after basket. Yes. After yes. Basket. Yes. Yes. I mean, does that give you guys pressure at all? I'll say that no. Okay, no. there's pressure a bit of it, mm-hmm. but it's not like ladies we have already, we have always been in the picture actually because uh-huh. ladies have been performing very well. It's just Whoa. that probably we have not been people didn't know or mm-hmm. I'll say that, but we all we are the ones who have been pushing men actually. We are the ones who have been giving them pressure. Uh-huh. Now they here finally they have they have, <laughs> they have qualified, they have qualified. I'll say I'm so happy for them. I'm super happy for them. And now again now pressure is you know, they've yes. given us pressure like I I'll say we just push, pu- pushing each other uh-huh. to get better all the time and you know good performance uh-huh. which I'll say it's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's amazing it's ama- amazing seeing women you know shining in all aspects yeah. of personal life, <laughs> your career. Being a for mom. me the ultimate is motherhood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so if you pass there yeah. how we do fail nothing because that's the most exactly. complicated I one. Agree you know. with it. So I'm very happy that we had this discussion but mm-hmm. before we leave, mom, had, mom and dad had so much to say about you. You know what would you say to mom? What would you say to your brothers? Um to my mom and my dad um I'll say thank you very much because they never gave up on us. They never you know they gave us 100% the support was always there 100%. I'm so grateful for you know how far you know raising a lot of kids like that, that you know we have we are big family yes is not a joke um you know she did her best she did what she knew how to do it best back then um I'll say also thank you to my brothers who have been supporting us and me personally also we all of us actually I'll say thanks to them um they have really showed us like you know um having somebody who supports you 100% and help you in some other areas you know the voice has been there always been there so um i'm so grateful and happy for them also and how far they've gone and how far you know they've no they actually they're a good example of everything is possible you know you just need to keep on you know keep on doing it and working hard yes and yes why you know it but i'll say yeah, i'm so grateful and thankful for what they have done to us for us oh, yeah. <laughs> for me i'm so proud of them for my mom and dad mm-hmm. where they have brought us hata mimi nilikuwa naenda kuuza hapo afya center na leta ya nyanya na kitungu so <laughs> so to my brothers ni na furai the way they are humble mm-hmm. the way they associate with people out out there hawajifanya mm-hmm. wana hiyo kujigamba mm-hmm. ya I'm so much happy about them. Mm-hmm. Na 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 wafuata they are my role model mm-hmm. and I'm very sure even there are those Kenyans outside there they are following their steps. Oh, yes. Yeah. So that's all. Okay.
can say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so thank much you. for making time. We as Inside Sports, we are humbled to have you, to also have uh, your parents, you know, talking to them. It was such, you know, they still got jokes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And Mao, ah, she's an amazing storyteller. <laughs> so thank you so much. We wish you welcome. all the best in your areas thank of you. excellence. Thank and you. we can't wait to, at least, at even if it's for fun, let's see you back when things fully open up. Yeah. Yeah. You, we will see you. Uh, <laughs> soon. Soon. I'm you know. that, yeah, we, we know it's going to see each other. Yes. yes. So thank you so much. And okay, to our welcome. viewers, that was thank you. yes. Thank you for also being patient. For the good work they are doing. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay. So to our viewers, thank you so much. That was the Wanyama family. The boys are not here, but you know, uh, the patriarch, uh, Mr. Noah Wanyama, stood here on behalf of all the boys. Uh, not all the ladies were here, but the three, um, Mom, uh, Mercy, and Cynthia, you know, represented them. And you know, we've had a very uh, amazing discussion and I mean when you hear Wanyama, the Wanyama family, I mean, it's the ultimate sporting family yeah. that we do have in Kenya right now, there are many others but yeah. when we come to mention in sporting families, you know, people think of Wanyama first. So thank you so much, I hope you enjoyed this particular episode and always keep it inside sports.